Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the iWanFit i6HR. This is a smart band or a smart fitness tracker that sells for 30 bucks on Amazon. Its claim to fame is having a touchscreen OLED display and heart rate monitoring at this impressively low cost. It's a rival to the popular Xiaomi Mi Band 2 and other popular low cost trackers on the market. It also tracks 20 types of sports activities, it has automatic sleep tracking, and a few extra tricks up its sleeves. There is a more expensive option available from the company as part of its current lineup called the i6 Pro. Uh, this one again is called the i6HR. Uh, the Pro has basically the same feature set except the band feels a little bit more premium and it has magnetic wireless charging as opposed to this one which has a physical USB uh, part that needs to be unplugged to be charged, but otherwise same functions and same accuracy. So taking a closer look at the packaging here, very simple, you can see some basic uh, specs. It does have a screen which you can use to read notifications from Twitter and Facebook. Uh, it does have again multiple sports that you can track. And the reason why the packaging seems so kind of minimalistic is because uh, there is no need for a separate charging cable. You can see that unplugged, it has a USB based adapter directly on the other side. So you can simply unplug it from the band and then of course insert it into a computer to charge it up in under 45 minutes. Afterwards you can use it for about 7 days continuously before you need to recharge it again. So battery life is also pretty good as far as these trackers are concerned. Of course one downside is if you're not someone who likes removing it from the band you know, every week or so it can get a little bit annoying or tedious um, as opposed to something that has contact pins. Other contents include a QR code that you can scan to download the app from the Play Store and uh, there's also a, the user manual if you want uh, more detailed instructions. It's printed both in Chinese as well as in English, and it documents all of the various features, including the ability to capture an image, using it as a selfie remote, uh, using it to measure distance, stuff like that. All right, so setting off to decide, the first thing we're going to do is actually do a quick size comparison. So again, this is the uh, I Want Fit uh, i6HR. Over here we have Huawei Honor Band 3, sells for about the same cost. And here we have the Xiaomi Amazfit Arc. This is a little bit more expensive. But again, same functionality, about the same dimensions on all three. Same kind of a silicon band, but you can see really the textural differences. Uh, the Amazfit and the uh, Iwanfit are very similar. They have kind of these prism patterns. This one is a little bit larger. This one is a bit more dimpled, but this one has a groove. They're all textured so that it doesn't attract too many fingerprints and it feels comfortable on your skin even after wearing it, you know, for months and months. And you can see they both, all three of these, have the heart rate monitors on the back. All right, so very similar in terms of dimensions and weight. Uh, if we remove it, we can see that the screen on the i1 Fit is definitely larger. Let's like peel back the screen protector here, and we have a very glossy finish, but uh, overall it doesn't attract too many fingerprints. It's not too bad. It is a plastic screen though, just to make costs a little lower and not tempered glass or, or gorilla glass, uh, but it is, again, fully touch sensitive, so we'll explain that in a moment. Otherwise, you can see that uh, construction seems fairly well made. It's a polycarbonate plastic, and then the heart ray monitor part is made out of glass. So this tracker does have an accelerometer for motion uh, detection. That means you can simply flick it upwards and it will automatically turn on. You can see it has an OLED screen that is significantly larger than that of the Mi Band 2, um, which is definitely a plus, and it's quite sensitive as far as touch is concerned. There's a battery status, Bluetooth connection status, and I'm able to kind of swipe between the panels uh, pretty easily. Now, unfortunately, only supports uh, software-wise one directional uh, scrolling for whatever reason. So I can scroll to the right, but I can't scroll back. Uh, which seems a little bit strange, so maybe that's something that they can fix from the software, but otherwise it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. I can also swipe kind of downwards to take a look at notifications, all of my apps, and go into a specific sports activity. So this bar, uh, scrolling up and down, does support uh, omnidirectional scrolling, so something to quickly point out. Going through this in a bit more detail, the first is just steps. So it's going to give you a count. Next is calories burned. This is a distance walk, so these are all conversion algorithms. This is a heart rate monitoring. It's going to take roughly 15 seconds to get a reading and it's intelligent to know enough to know whether you're wearing it or not if you're not wearing it it's not going to automatically start 
Swiping down, I can access notifications. I don't have any at the moment, but if it had multiple ones, this is how you would cycle through them. And it would show simply a text. Uh, also works with SMS, text messaging, if you want to turn those notifications on. Finally, I can go into these uh, more advanced settings, such as vibration mode. I can take a look at the time and date, information, and I can also reset it and power it off. To access one of these features, all I would need to do is long hold on a specific icon. I can swipe down again to go into kind of an exercise mode. Here, uh, go takes me back to the uh, messaging or notification mode. So pretty intuitive and easy to access. Um, you know, here are again the aforementioned 20 sports that can cycle through. Some of them are pretty niche. You have access to ping pong. You have access to kind of badminton, and there's also kind of hiking in addition to running, jogging, jump roping. So it seems to be attuned for quite a few sport activities, uh, which are pretty useful. Uh, so if you're outdoors, the motion tracking is going to be a bit more sensitive depending on whatever sport that you're trying to do. Uh, so that's something to quickly point out. And again, the interface is very clean, has slightly curved edges, which makes swiping feel a bit more uh, elegant. It is a water resistant slash uh, kind of a splash proof fitness band, but uh, I guess it's not quite as recommended for something like diving or, or swimming as some of the other integrated models that uh, don't have quite as much parts or contacts that can potentially leak water, since you can see that the tracker here has a USB port that can be removed. One other neat trick on the iWanFit kind of series of trackers is the ability to change watch faces. They give you quite a few kind of customized customizable options uh, built right on in. So for instance, if you like a different look, you can simply tap on that to save it. Furthermore, some of them uh, definitely look more classy and uh, more traditional. So here's one that kind of simulates an analog style clock. So if I really like this one, I can just long hold and save it. So now it looks like a classic watch and uh, everything is actually pretty detailed and attractive. You can probably get more watch faces through future software updates, but I'm not too sure at the moment. Uh, regardless, there's definitely more attention to detail on the software than your average kind of generic tracker that you may find also for the same price on Amazon's. The app, which is called iWanFit, is actually pretty popular in the Play Store, and it looks like it's been already downloaded over 100,000 times, so it seems like sales for this is actually pretty good. Um, in terms of the interface, it's pretty colorful and animated, almost uh, slightly more geared for younger audiences and crowds. Um, there is a pro edition of the app that's geared for the uh, i6 Pro only uh, that works pretty well and it has a reamped interface, but it doesn't work quite as well with the other bands like the HR version. From here, you can see that binding and connecting is pretty simple. It gives us our status on the top. So right now we're connected using Bluetooth. The battery is indicated. Uh, you know, time sends our last syncing, and we can tap on this to sync it again. There's also a health index score that tells us, you know, how much we've moved and how much more we should move based on our performance so far. I can set a goal and then see if I can burn that many calories, walk this many steps, and uh, as well as sleep this many hours per day. And the sleep tracking is actually pretty accurate compared to the Mi Band 2 Amazfit uh, Arc, as well as the Lenovo um, and the Huawei bands that I've tried out recently. They seem to have pretty comparable results. And again, it's nice that you can simply fall asleep without having to worry about tapping on it to go into a specific mode, very similar to the Misfit Flash in that uh, it's simple and it works. Uh, it will track your light versus deep sleep and then tell you how many hours of sleep you've reached. You can also set alarms and when the time uh, is ready, it's simply going to vibrate to try and wake you up in the morning. Same thing with notifications, it can vibrate whenever you get a new text message or tweet and you can program that. I can do a manual kind of recording of heart rate just by tapping on this and it tells me kind of the zone that I'm in as well as uh, you know, what's the preferable kind of zone is green versus red is uh, you know too fast, things like that. It's going to record that uh, down below, but it's a pretty simple app. There is no kind of uh, intelligent AI assistant. There's no way of uh, analyzing your data beyond what they give you. So uh, you can tell if your goals are met, but it's not going to be comparing your data to anyone else and tell you ways to improve your lifestyle or to improve your fitness uh, activities. So it's a presenter information very well, but again, it's a very simple and straightforward and not as many extras as maybe something by Garmin, by Misfit, or a more expensive option on the market. Under me, I can take a look at my metrics. I can change things like height, uh, weight, 
etc. if I want to set it up and program it so it's a bit more sensitive. And it can still run in the background uh, you know, when you exit out of the app, so it continuously tracks as well as occasionally pushes updates and syncs it with the app. So that's been the Iwan Fit uh, i6HR. This is a surprisingly good fitness tracker at this low $30 price. First of all, the screen, which is OLED, is actually quite easy to read, even outdoors. The touchscreen is sensitive, the interface is unique. You certainly don't get a full touch experience on any other tracker at this price point. Furthermore, the ability for you to change the watch faces is a really nice trick and uh, seems to make the product more expensive than the price would suggest. Uh, I like the overall design and aesthetic, the way it feels is comfortable, and the tracking is actually pretty accurate when compared to the Mi Band 2 for my testing, both with steps and with sleep. Um, so it does a good job for the price point. Otherwise, uh, minor dis uh, you know, uh, cons would be the fact that you have to remove it out of the band every time to charge it, which uh, isn't quite as convenient as maybe a standard cable or, you know, contact pins on the back. And it's also slightly, ever so slightly bulkier than other models just because it has a full touchscreen display and a removable module in the center. But otherwise, it performs well, and I think that if you're looking for an interesting tracker at this price and you want something with uh, a few more features, uh, with a more clever kind of touch implementation, then this is certainly one to consider. You can check out more details in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the iWanFit i6HR low-cost fitness tracker.